The arrival of a week-long cold snap in December is the earliest on record. For Greg, that means protecting his baby American alligators. You know, we've had some ridiculous cold here in, in December, which is just way early. And uh, although these little guys can handle it, uh, we opted to bring them in. Welcome to your nice warm bath. They've been around for millions of years. They, they were around when the dinosaurs were here. They're virtually unchanged. They're the closest thing to living dinosaurs that we have. And uh, just like everything, people like the cute little babies, but then they don't know what to do with them when they get 10, 12 feet long. Greg has another special mission that can't wait. See, here comes one. Here he is. Lane and Lexi rescued these Florida softshell turtles from the jaws of a marauding raccoon when they were still in their eggs. So there's one right there. Oh, I see it. As a native species, these turtles must adapt to Florida's winter by nestling into the pond mud. You see, he starts digging. digging. <laughs> His little butt up in the air. Here, now we've got 23 new little turtles in the pond. Good stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. Obviously, with this many animals, there's a lot to do. For Tara to be a success in Sean's sanctuary, she'll need to prove she can handle some of his more challenging reptiles. Just hanging on to this little guy. He's a handful. He will try to nip you. Now, this is a broad snout of the caiman. OK. And if you notice, he looks like he's got that bulldog type of face and jaws. Yeah. They have a powerful bite. So don't get bit by these guys. <laughs> OK. So I mean, the easiest way to do them is you just slide your hand. I'll hold the, the head. You slide your hand right up with your fingers right around his neck. So take almost like this. On, yep, just right in around mine. And yep, grab him well. And you don't want him to turn. They're stronger than they look. All right? And you just don't get your finger in the mouth. He moved his leg, and I was like, oh, I got to hold on to him tighter. <laughs> Crocodilians are typically a little more work than snakes. Now, he's quick. <laughs> OK. So you want to get this hand out of the way. And that next one is going to be just whoop, as fast as you can. There you go. <laughs> he was nice. He's like, I'm going to cut you a break. As you grade up to the bigger ones, it gets, uh, it gets more interesting. Because if you make a mistake, uh, you know, the consequences are more severe. This morlet is a freshwater crocodile found in Central America. Oh, stop. You never bite any, but I don't know why you try. But this one are morlets. You know, beautiful animals. I love morlets. But make no mistake, if you put your hand in his mouth, he would bite it. Definitely he would. <laughs> if, you, if you look at those teeth, they're not big, but they are sharp. Handling animals is part of the job, but Thorne wants help cleaning the tanks and cages. You want to try to hold him? Just slide, slide your hand up under mine. Just you see, I got fingers on two sides, all the way up. You got them? I think so. All right. And the more relaxed, I mean, you want a firm grip, but the more relaxed you are, the more relaxed he is. He's gorgeous. Tara's a fast learner, but it's fearlessness that will nail down this job, and learning to care for Sean's prized albino alligators. How many of these you want? All of them. All of them. They're gorgeous. Can't get enough of them. You think you want to work, uh, put some time in here and uh, with different animals? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Yeah, no, it's cool. What do you think, Thor? Could you need some extra help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, like that was a mystery.